So I am trying out this Facebook live feed from my computer and I have no idea what I'm doing because it's an API and um, you know like I'm not exactly that tech savvy but uh, I guess I'm live. Uh, basically um, a couple of days ago I tried out this um, you know the Facebook live because we had canceled our um, M3 weekly hangout. I was in Atlanta at the time uh, my schedule was a little funky, and um, I just needed to jump on real quick and, um, you know, see if we could, you know, you know, get up, inform all of the contributors and audience members that we weren't going to be on that day. Um, but what I didn't realize was just how much engagement those videos, you know, Facebook Live videos get you. Um, so I'm trying out some stuff. I did a little Googling. I found out that you can actually stream from your computer just like I'm doing now. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to turn this off though. And you can't, um, you can't see the comments in live, you know, in real time the way you can on your phone. But, you know, on the other hand, I can sit at my computer and I can, you know, do the same things we do for the weekly hangout. And that's what I was doing mostly today. Um, you know, collecting topics, reading um, articles, uh, watching people's videos, uh, talking to people, and just uh, taking notes. So um, a lot of what I've been seeing today has been, um, you know, pain and grief over the most recent police shootings. A lot of fear that I, you know, I'm hearing from my, um, my friends and family. Um, and I have to say for myself, I, uh, I'm not exactly sure what to say. And I, I know like in times like these, um, you know, you can, I'm, you know, I'm at a loss for words. That's kind of my standard go-to is just, um, just kind of sitting and listening to people. So I, I actually like the Facebook live feature. I went through a few of my friends feeds as they were talking about their, um, emotions and, um, you know, it's, it's real and, um, you know, so I'm definitely going to be doing that over the next couple of days and just trying to see, you know, what we can provide our audience on Sunday when, it, um, when I'm sure we're going to talk about it. However, we do have the M3 Entertainment Hangout that's going to be Friday at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. And I think we had agreed that we'd still keep the same entertainment topics that we do. Um, I'm sure it's going to come up. Um, you know, some of the, you know, our lives are going to intervene in what we're, we're producing, but, um, yeah, so that was about it. I, you know, we have topics from, uh, five different, uh, Facebook groups. So I got two weeks worth of those. I, I try to get some of those out of the way. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to basically look in and, um, find out which, uh, which topics got the most engagement, um, and, you know, read those comments from the groups. Um, the entertainment topics tend to be the most, uh, looked at those and the undercover topics. So, um, we might have a plethora of those. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. Like I'm, I try to basically put a link inside a Google document and, um, you know, as the comments pour in, uh, you know, pick out the ones that are, are um, you know, the most interesting. Because sometimes I'll pose a question and the, um, you know, the comment is way more interesting than the question itself. Um, and so we'll just go off on a tangent discussing this one person's comment, uh, which is also kind of awesome. So um, I thought I'd like just go through some of the topics that we have for uh, this Sunday that are in my document. I'm going to open it up here. Um, and, I, you know, I create a, uh, a Facebook event um, for those who want to join the, uh, the live hangout um, and view us live. You can, uh, we put the link there and, uh, you know, you can also go to mailmediamind.com I embed the link there as well, so um, that's some ways that uh, you can participate when we're doing the live broadcast Sunday. 
Let me bring this up. Um, yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to stop this live stream. So, yeah, basically, um, yeah, I, I just tried it out. Uh, yeah, I guess it's working because I have no idea. I could maybe check on my phone and see if I can see it there as well. It's, um, it's showing up on my timeline when I look at it, but I don't have any kind of controls on it. We'll see. And everything is moving slow. Maybe it's because of this program I download. Okay. So it is showing up on my phone. Okay, so. Um, we're going to read some of the comments from our last video, the M3 Bear Essentials videos, which I put out. Um, oh, yes, I'm getting text messages now saying it's working. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I, I, um, we're going to read some of the comments from the... Uh, M3 Bear Essentials last video. I'm trying to think that was uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. Basically, the M3 Bear Essentials videos are um, edited versions of the M3 Hangouts. And, um, you know, it's basically to engage our audience even more um, after we've already recorded live. And not only that, because we're recording for two or three hours, I don't know if people are going to be sitting through the entire broadcast. So that gives people an opportunity to look at, I guess, the most um, liked portions of the, and usually they're around 20 minutes. I, I try to keep it under 20 minutes. Um, and I published those on Monday and Thursday. I didn't do one Monday because uh, I was out of town and it was a holiday. Um, so we took that off. So we have, uh, I guess, three videos that we will read some of the comments from. Uh, some of the trending topics was, um, Clearly, the, the two police shootings, the one in Louisiana and Minnesota, um, we'll definitely get into that and some of the reactions from our friends and family. Um, let's see, the, the Seattle man who was murdered, and um, I guess two men who were murdered uh, coming out of a, uh, a club and they were meeting someone on a hookup app. Uh, that. That'll be one of the topics. Uh, the M3 Life Group uh, deals with physical and mental health, and I usually try to get a good mix of those topics. Um, so some of them included um, dealing with negative people, um, the story you tell about yourself, uh, procrastination, and getting out of jobs, or getting out of a job that makes you unhappy. Uh, the M3 Undercover Group, is a group dedicated to sex and relationship topics. There's some overlap between M3 Life and M3 Undercover. Um, so, but, you know, dealing with relationships is uh, definitely a part of mental health. So, you know, that's there. But, um, you know, we talk a little bit more about, um, you know, much more on like the sex and relationship topics. Uh, we get a lot of engagement on those, especially considering I usually will post a picture of a couple. Um, when I started doing that, I got some feedback from people, and I found this Tumblr where um, where I could, uh, you know, put those, embed those photos, because, you know, with all the topics, I also include an article to stimulate um, engagement. Um, but typically those articles are geared toward women um, and not for gay men but they're usually advice for being in relationship or having sex with men so most of them are applicable and you know but I changed the photos but anyway those get a lot of engagement and we have about four of those topics uh, one of them that kind of blew up this week was um, people's height and weight preferences and how that affects attractiveness um, you know, M3 Undercover is a bear group. You know, M3, Media Mind is um, dedicated to black bears. So, 
Uh, however, a lot of the people in the undercover group are just of the general uh, gay community. And so I just th thought I'd bring up that topic. Uh, you know, what is, uh, what is your preference for size? And uh, there was an article to go with that. Um, another one was, uh, could you stand to be in a sexless relationship? Um, and I think another one was, um, do you think you should wait on someone uh, you like to make the first move? Say, like, if you're in a dating situation. Um, we had a topic on kink and uh, sexual fetishes. And I think that was it for that. Okay, and then we had the politics group um, talking about um, what we think maybe the Democratic platform should be as as it concerns the LGBT community. Um, and uh, there was this hashtag called Heterosexual Pride Day. I think we actually talked about that after the Slayer Revisited um, show. So I might remove that. Because we actually did have a good time. We might bring it up again, but um, yeah. And let's see, entertainment topics. Uh, they range from a lot of different things, but uh, one of the one of the questions I asked um, that we were going to talk about last week was, um, you know, how do you think um, streaming services have affected the way you watch television? Um, you know, because I just noticed like a lot of people, like myself, have cut the cord um, and they're no longer on cable. Um, I don't need cable anymore with Netflix and Hulu and um, you know, I'm just wondering there was an article that went along with that and I'm sure we'll get into it um, let's see there was this one about this movie um, I don't remember the name of it but basically it's a movie starring um, Daniel Craig and Halle Berry and it's a film based in the LA riots and, um, you know, it's a very African-American-centric themed movie, but it's written and directed by a white director. So the question was, like, can white filmmakers craft stories steeped in a black experience without any, you know, experience being black? <laughs> so um, I'm sure we'll get something about that. Um, and then we got Hot Topics, which are I post in almost every group. So we got plenty to talk about. I'm just kind of scanning through and at the same time trying to figure out how I can stop this live stream. Uh, let me see. I am on my timeline now. And I see it. Okay, I see the live stream. But because I'm using this API, maybe I have to do it through the program. Anyway, if you have any uh, questions or suggestions, feel free to inbox me. Um, you can tweet us at Mail Media Mind. You can go to MailMediaMind.com. There is a Contact Us button that will uh, give you the email. That's uh, info at MailMediaMind.com. Um, I think we're doing the entertainment hangout. <laughs> I have to talk to Mark about that. I should have done that before I went live. But, um, you know... If he's not hosting, we'll we'll probably do a um, we'll we'll substitute for him if he's not able to make it. But um, you know, entertainment hangouts every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. We'll talk about all these and some other topics. Uh, thank you everybody who uh, watching who's watching. I can't see you, sorry. <laughs> but this is an experiment, and you know, you gotta try new shit. You know, sometimes. So, uh, thanks for watching.